Hello my friends and subscribers, my name is Alexander Stepanov. Today the topic of my video is how things which are around you influence on your work and on your business. One day I was thinking about some nail technicians who worked in real bad conditions. They used to do really amazing things. And some nail masters who work in expensive nail salons. Sometimes their works look not so expensive like their studios. Ten years ago, when I have just started my business in this industry, I had a friend nail technician. Her name is Marguerite. And we got education together. And after we visited each other, that time she worked at home. You know, I don't like to say bad things about somebody's work, but I have to say this in context of my topic. We actually have in Russia very small flats. An average family in Russia have to live in a flat between 30 or 40 square meters. And this typical flat has kitchen of 6 meters. Can you imagine, guys, my friend Marguerite worked that time in such small kitchen. And also the usual thing for that kitchen were the flying parrot and the Marguerite's dog. And the dog was running around the kitchen all the time. And she used to work that time from the morning to the night. And she even had no time to clean the flat. Her boyfriend usually got home from work and he started washing dishes. He was walking around the kitchen in his pants and washing the pile of dirty dishes. All these were happening in the small Russian kitchen. And the Margaret was smoking while doing nails for her clients. And she didn't care about if her clients smoked or not. Sometimes she could suggest to drink the wine. And sometimes she was drunk hard and kept on doing nails. And usually the room and the furniture were dirty. There were a lot of cutted nails on the floor. And she never used the mask. The white dust from nails were everywhere. Do you want to know, guys, why I'm telling you all this story? I can tell you only one thing. She made such a brilliant nails. You just can't imagine how beautiful they were. People have been standing in the line for many days. They all wanted to make their nails done by Marguerite. Clients really loved her and they always forgave all that shit happened in her flat. And they didn't care about the smell of cigarettes, sounds of dogs barking and a lot of other uncomfortable things for clients. And also Margaret had very bad temper and she could be very rude sometimes. She was just real, she was saying all the truth. Sometimes clients resented, but they always came back to infill their nails. Because nobody in our city could do such amazing nails like her did. All the rest of nail technicians were envied of her success. And they wondered why could she earned seven times more than nail technicians who work in rich, expensive nail studios. Why did she have so many clients? And well, nail technicians got together. The most popular topic was about the Margaret's work. For example, when she didn't open the door to her client because of she was drunk and many other stupid gossip 
were around her person. Sometimes, guys, I visited nail salons and looked on nail technicians who were sitting all day and waiting for clients. They all were actually didn't love their profession. All they needed was quickly finish the work and they also never wanted to create something. But you know, the client felt that. And people used to visit nail technicians who are real fanatics of this industry, who can't live without this profession, can't live without creation. And they also don't spare themselves. You know, Margaret could work 20 hours a day and more. She could take 7 or 10 in fills a day. And she also was very strong. She never said that something hurts or she tired. She also published the photo of each of her work on the social network. And you know, some nail technicians even counted photos of her profile to find out how much money she earned. One day, one of nail masters said, We are trying hard to make our clients be satisfied. We made the beautiful interior of our nail salons. We always suggest tea or coffee. We just made everything for the client to feel comfortable in our studios. But we don't understand why people are still visiting nail technicians who work at home and sometimes they work with higher prices. So at the end of this story, I want to ask you my friends, what do you think about all this? Who is the nail technician? Is he or she hard worker who doesn't spare herself an artistic person who has the nail industry as the main meaning of her life? Or maybe nail technician is something like aesthetic profession where the main thing is elegant process, looking after the client, beautiful conversations about weather and ordinary expectable, sometimes not very neat result of her work. Sure, guys, I understand these stories are two extremes and it's not easy to choose someone's side. For example, which place you want to visit. So let's just distance ourselves. Just imagine that you want to make your nails and let's imagine that tools of both nail technicians are really sterilized so you don't need to care about it. So please just choose what exactly nail place you want to attend. Margaret's home with barking dog and her boyfriend cleaning dishes in pants. But you will have some fun and your nails will be done perfectly. And from the other side you can visit the nail studio of regular nail technician who will provide you all service. She will be very nice to you and never be rude with you. She will always offer you coffee, watching maybe a favorite film on TV, but result of her work will be simple and ordinary. I mean when people work without placing their souls into their work. I hope you understand me guys because I want to know what do you feel about all this. Is it normal for your society when the master works like a robot? I have also read your comments and I'm very happy that a lot of people from all over the world I still have lively feelings, feelings of compassion, understanding, 
and I started making videos for this channel not for teaching someone nail art I just wanted to share a part of my life and life of my friends and maybe it would help to change somebody's life and your attitude to many things for example that money means nothing in this world but we sometimes forget about it and we chase after money and glory and forget about people who are still staying by you so guys let's come back to our tutorial as you can see I have applied gel nails using sculpting mix gel and white gel paint my client asked me to draw initials on her nail I think it's a little bit romantic this nail design is very simple you can use regular gold foil and the gel paint with sticky layer so let's take a look on the result these nails look amazing in spite of this nail design is simple I tried hard to make it maximum neat and perfect if you like my tutorials don't forget to click that like button and subscribe my channel see you in the next videos